In the past 12 months, I've created two brand new websites with two different website builders. One being my personal website on Ghost and my new Start Station website on Webflow. Both of these website builders have been growing in popularity and each have their own fit when it comes to website builders. Where these tools fit though wasn't clear to me initially though, so that's why in this video, I wanna cover what Webflow and Ghost are and compare them to one another. So without further ado, let's jump into Webflow and Ghost. Webflow really is a do-it-all type of website builder. If you want a website builder that can build any type of website, Webflow really is that tool. In some ways, Webflow is like the fully customizable version of Squarespace. You can customize pretty much anything in Webflow right down to individual pixels. Yes, that means Webflow is really powerful, but that also means that Webflow is not for everyone. It has a lot of complexity. If you're building your very first website and have never even used any type of website builder before, Webflow is probably not for you. If you're just looking to create a basic landing page or a basic website and it's your first website ever, Squarespace is wonderful. You'll be set up in just a few hours and be in a good place for a really long time depending on your use case. Now, if you're someone that has built websites in Squarespace or some other basic website builder and is looking to take the next step in website building, Webflow is a great next step. For me, I've spent plenty of time building websites in Squarespace and have had success with them. However, they're really template dependent and I wanted to have some more of that more robustness when it comes to a website. That's why I decided to use Webflow for my StartStation website. Additionally, Webflow can grow with StartStation pretty naturally as I think more about memberships, courses, etc. To have a basic working knowledge of Webflow, it took me a full weekend of learning it. All I used were the Webflow tutorial videos and Webflow's education team knocks those out of the park. They're incredibly helpful and they're entertaining. They're not your typical tutorial videos. Personally, the bar Webflow has set for teaching in videos is a bar that I'm hoping to get to at some point. They're so good. After building the StartStation website in Webflow, I'm definitely not an expert in it, but I feel pretty confident in the basics of Webflow. I feel like I could build any type of basic design website, especially if I see how others have built out particular assets like FAQs or laid out particular elements. I've been doing that through YouTube videos and even templates that you can get for free in Webflow. If you're a designer, Webflow probably feels like a dream to you as it really opens up a lot of different design ideas that many different website builders don't give you. If you're a startup founder and have some basic website building experience, Webflow might be worth building your website on since it can grow and adapt with you. It can act as an e-commerce platform, a blog, membership manager, or even just a basic landing page. If you're looking for more advanced adaptability and flexibility, Webflow has you covered. Let's now move into the next website builder, Ghost. Ghost has some elements of Webflow, but it's particularly elite at one action, publishing content. Ghost is the premium website builder when it comes to being a publishing platform. Similar to Webflow, Ghost does have a learning curve too. However, there's not as much educational content around Ghost and there's really no slick design tool that is within Ghost like Webflow has. You can design every pixel in Ghost like you can in Webflow, but to do so, you need to have some coding experience. If you know how to code a little bit and like having that ability while also publishing content a lot, Ghost is probably the fit for you. For me, I'm not a coder by any means, but I kept hearing about this fantastic writing experience in Ghost. That has lived up to the hype. The writing experience and publishing experience in general in Ghost is wonderful. It's a great experience and definitely has the upper hand when compared to Webflow. Webflow has a good CMS, but the writing experience can't hold a candle to how good it is in Ghost. Ghost feels like a different version of writing in Notion. Now to make that writing experience work out the way you want it to, you need to have a good template in Ghost. You could just take one of the free templates that Ghost provides or buy a template. For example, if you want a website that looks similar to Ali Abdal's website, there's actually Ali's website as a template for Ghost. If you wanna tweak things though, you probably need to insert a little bit of CSS. I've had to do this a few times with the template that I purchased. It wasn't the hardest thing by any means since there's plenty of CSS snippets out there you can copy and paste, but if you're not used to CSS, even just copying and pasting it in the right spot can be stressful. If that hasn't scared you off, Ghost has some other features that are natively built into it that are pretty useful. It has its own newsletter tool, you can hide paid content right within posts, and you can manage memberships. So if you don't wanna use MailChimp or ConvertKit out of the gate for an email newsletter, you don't have to if you're using Ghost. Ghost is wonderful for those that are building their own publication of any sort. 
So if you're someone that is blogging every week or even a venture writing a lot of content, Ghost can be a great fit. As I've mentioned, Webflow and Ghost aren't for beginners. They are for those that are looking to take the next step when it comes to having robust websites. If you're a startup looking for a jack of all trades website, I would highly recommend Webflow. If you're someone that wants to write a lot and have some content be paid only, I would highly recommend Ghost. If you wanna get fancy, you could have your main website be in Webflow and your blog or publication that is tied to your main venture be in Ghost. Webflow and Ghost can work together in the right instances. One example of this that you can check out is Buffer's website and blog. They have their own website and some other tool and their blog lives on Ghost. I'll put a link to it in the description. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you can give it a like. And if you're looking for more content like this video, you can check out other videos on this channel like this one here.